Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video which is a holiday meal prep. I thought I'd get ahead and sort out some food for the kids for over the Christmas holidays um, because you know how it gets when the kids are at home and they're constantly hungry. So I prepared a couple of uh, lovely things and I'm hoping they stay in the freezer until the holidays start at the end of the week. So the first thing I made was some spring rolls and it's the mixture that I usually make. So I was just preparing the filling for the spring rolls, cutting up some potatoes and I put on friends in the background just to distract me while um, doing my really exciting meal prep. Well, I was excited at the prospect of having loads of food prepared, but the actual process is not that fun. I'm sure you can imagine. So once I'd cut the potatoes, I put them in some water, brought them to the boil, and then you cook them for about four minutes until the potatoes are soft. Then I cooked some chicken mince until it was white and the water had drained off. added some garlic and ginger paste, some tomato puree and then some salt and spices and then I added in the potatoes that I'd cooked. I also like to add some spring onions and some sweet corn as well as a little lemon juice and uh, then you just mix everything together and then mash it up using a potato masher so that it's easier to roll up into spring rolls to make the sticky paste for the spring rolls I just mix some plain flour with some water And then I went ahead and made my spring rolls. I don't cut the sheets or anything. I don't have the time or energy for that. I use a whole sheet per spring roll and end up with nice, lovely, larger than life <laughs> spring rolls. Not really, but they're big enough. And please excuse the pen marks all over the table. That's the kids. They've discovered pens and they've discovered that you can write all over the house with them. So it's just wonderful. So there were 30 spring roll pastry sheets in the pack and I used nearly all of them. I think there was like three. So have you guys got anything nice planned for the winter holidays or Christmas holidays? Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know what you guys are up to. Personally, not got anything exciting planned apart from eating all of these snacks. <laughs> The main thing we'll be doing is trying to watch a couple of Christmas movies, eating lots of chocolate and uh, maybe checking out some sales. Same as every year. So there's all the spring rolls nice and ready. I transferred them to a freezer bag and right about now they're sitting in the freezer. My kids love spring rolls. Then I prepped some tandoori chicken legs. So I had um, these chicken legs and I made a marinade for it. So I've got some yogurt, tandoori masala, some salt and a couple of other spices, garlic and ginger paste and some lemon juice and some oil. So just whisk that all together. And then you put your chicken legs in. Ideally, I like to do this with a glove, but I didn't have any, so it was by my fresh hands instead, <laughs> whatever that means. 
So once the chicken legs were nicely coated, I transferred them to a freezer bag. They're in the freezer as well. <laughs> The next thing I made was some burritos. Can't do a meal prep without using tortilla wraps in some form or other. <laughs> so I've got some lamb mints and I'm just cooking that until it's um, brown and kind of drained off the water. Adding some salt and spices. I love these taco mixed beans. I use them in loads of stuff, especially curries. I like to add them. Like if I'm making a lamb curry with some potatoes, I'll add the beans in and it just makes the sauce taste extra yummy and it's kind of thick and uh, delicious, mashallah. And uh, right now I'm adding them to the mincemeat uh, mixture for the burritos. So I've got two tins that I've added in there. And once it come to the boil, just put it aside and I had a lovely big block of cheese. I got the mild one because I couldn't see the medium, but we tend to get medium. And I tend to get, not the coloured cheddar, I tend to get the non-coloured one, but this is all they had at the time. And a lot of people were taking the mic in my um, shorts video or like I put it on TikTok as well. This hack to do with the grater and <laughs> some of the comments were so funny. They were saying that obviously that's what the attachment is made for. And they said people didn't tell you because you're meant to know. <laughs> but I still find it amazing that you can just grate your cheese like that. So once the stuff was ready for the burritos, I laid it all out and got cracking. <laughs> so I've got the tortilla wraps. These Mediterranean ones are nice and the seeded ones. They're from Lidl in case you're wondering. So I just filled them with the mince and um, taco bean mixture topped with some cheese. And wrap them all individually with some uh, greaseproof paper, baking paper. I added some uh, chilli sauce to some of them just for an added kick of flavour the kids don't really like their spice the younger ones anyway, the older ones are fine with it so I was just labelling my freezer bags and then I popped them in And they look amazing and they still sat in my freezer as well. <laughs> Next I made a chicken and mushroom pie and this has been eaten, sadly. So I was just cutting up some chicken breast and then I cooked it in some uh, olive oil until the chicken was white and drained of most of the liquid. I used this Asian style stir fry veg. This was from Lidl as well and it was actually quite tasty, mashallah. So I added that, cooked it until it was defrosted, added in a red onion, 
and then some salt, pepper, garlic and ginger paste and it was a bit of a cheats version actually because I used this cream of mushroom soup it turned out really nice mashallah and it was quite easy so that's a hack for you guys use some cream of mushroom soup which I love anyway in case you didn't know I also added some soft cheese just because I had some spare in the fridge and it added some nice flavour to it so I used some puff pastry sheet for the top and I put the filling in a roasting tray I had a two pack that I bought from Poundland so I thought I'd use one of them, why not? The next thing I made were these breakfast muffins, so the egg and cheese ones. First of all, I'm slicing the muffins. I actually got these from Lidl as well. Basically, everything was from Lidl or Asda. So I didn't actually have like a cookie cutter to uh, make the eggs uh, that round shape. So I used a tuna can. I have got cookie cutters that are round, but they're plastic, so they'd burn with the heat. If you do the same, just be a little bit careful when you're cutting the tuna can and ideally use something made for the job but anyway I made the eggs and uh, they look pretty nice don't they mashallah So I just put some olive spread on the muffins, topped it with the egg and then a slice of cheese and I put them in a bag. So that's one breakfast sorted. You know, as many meals as you can get done for the holidays, the better. Because I've noticed when it comes to the holidays and you don't have any food prepared, it's a constant going to the kitchen, thinking of a meal, preparing that meal and it does take quite a bit of time and effort. So use the time now and see what you can do. <laughs> That's what I was doing anyway. Uh, the next thing I made were some uh, cheesy chicken nuggets. These would be great for like a lunchtime one day. So I've got some chicken mains, uh, salt, spices, garlic and ginger paste, some spring onion. And uh, some cheese. I've never made these before but they look alright. I had these golden breadcrumbs as well so I actually put the mixture in the fridge for a little while just to help it set and it's easier to shape when it's cold so I just shaped them into nuggety type shapes and then coated with the breadcrumbs simple as that and I think I'll bake them I, I don't know if I'll fry them but um, most likely I'll bake them I think they'd be perfect to air fry <laughs> I love how I mention air frying even though I don't own an air fryer myself Next I made a load of chicken breast strips for the fridge to use for sandwiches or with a salad. I thought it'd be perfect. So I prepared this coating or marinade and uh, sat the chicken breast in it for a little while. And I had this cast iron pan that I got from a gift set from B&M a while ago, maybe two years ago now and I thought that would be perfect to grill me chicken breasts so just make sure you cook it long enough for it to be cooked through or you can put it in the oven or air fryer again <laughs> the thing that I don't own but I recommend regularly <laughs> Doesn't that look pretty juicy and succulent, mashallah? Yeah, once it's cooked, um, cut it up and uh, put it into a container for the fridge or freezer. Uh, 
The last thing I prepared was uh, some curry sauce or a curry base. This is really useful if you want to have the basics of your curry prepared. So you cook all the ingredients for your curry base or it's called tarka. Then you can just add whatever meat or veg or fish you want on the day that you're going to make the curry. So I actually made enough for four curries and I've got I think eight or nine onions there. Cut them all up. And I just cooked the onions until they were nice and soft. And then I've got about, I don't know, 12, 14 tomatoes. I diced them up nicely and then um, added them to the pan and then I allowed that to cook for a nice long while uh, maybe I don't know 45 minutes I just allow it to cook nicely and uh, for the past few weeks we've been making a garlic and ginger paste uh, a homemade one we usually buy it and I just felt like let's use fresh ingredients why don't we so um, I got this four pack of garlic okay my husband usually makes it but he was busy on this particular day so I just asked him what he does and then uh, tried to replicate <laughs> I hope I did him proud <laughs> um, anyway I basically cut up all the garlic and the ginger and then I added it to the little chopper this magic bullet which is really magical <laughs> it is really fast mashallah if there's anything I can say about it it's fast so I've got the garlic and ginger then some uh, olive oil and uh, lemon juice And then just gave it a whiz. I added some more olive oil and lemon juice because it didn't seem uh, liquidy enough. When I was happy with the consistency of it, I transferred it to a jar. And it just smelled so nice and fresh. So the tomatoes and onions had been cooking nicely. I added um, some salt and enough spices for four curries, mixed it all together. And there's my freshly made garlic and ginger paste. Once that was cooked and cooled, I split it into four portions, I transferred three to containers and left one in the pan to use on the day. I did a finger chilli to each portion. And there's my meal prep. I really hope you found this useful and enjoyed it. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday. Inshallah, see you soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.